Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. This is your gaming god of the cosmic realm, David X here. And welcome... Thank you. And welcome to an extra video of Saints Row. Last episode, we took care and did the last few missions in the uh, DLC. A song of dust and ice. Or ice and dust. I don't know why. It's always that DLC's name that I just keep screwing over. I don't know why. But, um... I'm actually going to show off a couple of things real quick. So, um... I did show off earlier in this video that I did, in fact, get everything in the game. Yep, all these... Every threat, every venture mission, every side hustle, every discovery, and every store. So, um... The way how it works is that the 15 main district where you can build your empire, the way how it works is kind of interesting. So once you purchase the um, the section of your empire, the border around the thing will be purple. When you complete the venture mission, highlighting this, it will say venture complete. And it'll all be highlighted with your logo. But if you compl if you take down all the threats, every side hustle, every discovery, and every store, then what will happen is that it will the border will be golden. Your logo will be shiny like like a gold medal, and it'll say district complete. Oh, the, don't worry about that sound. And of course, the only areas that don't get involved are the is the desert territory here and there. But hey, at least the, I, at least both. Uh... So when making discoveries, the only ones that automatically get found are the, um, the weather stations where you launch with your wingsuit. We have the venture missions, of course, you can redo all that. And just like in Saints Row Tradition, when you build a new station, like when you build a new criminal venture, all those kinds of missions of that specific venture will show up. Now, um, it's actually kind of interesting. Oh, yep. This here, my my beauty. So this right here is called the uh, pain and gain. So basically, it launches like a giant hook. And this is actually one of the ways you can you can do, this is actually one of the weapons where it can give you the um okay it basically gives you the ability to launch a hook projectile and you can actually use this to fly around don't, don't know why I got stars from that that was that was kind of dumb man I'll, Oh, hey, there's a graveyard! What the hell? I I don't remember seeing a graveyard before. Okay. I actually had no idea there was a graveyard over here. Oh, there's my grave. <laughs> Alright. So, if you notice, the icon of my pistol actually looks completely different. So, um... So basically, as you do a bunch of missions, you actually have this thing where you can customize... Yeah. So, um, like, you can basically customize the how your weapons look like whenever you're using them in-game. And then we have my personal favorite right here, where we have, legitimately, a Saint's Blade. It's supposed to be like a parody of, like, Kingdom Hearts in a way. I actually like its design, like, like pseudo Kingdom Hearts. This tactical pistol. Oh my God! Look at this! L look at the slick design there. Oh yep, and there's the Saint's Lawgiver. And if I remember correctly, this kind of pistol visual mod in particular 
is an actual gun you can use in Saints Row the Third, and I think Saints Row Four. I think the third and four were the first ones to ever include this. I could be wrong. Then we have a Star God Blaster, it's supposed to be referenced to uh, Halo, I believe. I think it's Halo. Yep. And basically, for for certain visual mods, you can actually customize it to your heart's content, make it look all cool and stuff. And um, for the shotgun here, this is basically the default, but I actually set it to this bottom one here that I got for DLC. I actually have all the DLC for this game. And sometimes with DLC, it can actually give you a bunch of different uh, weapon patterns. I know, weapon decals. Pretty cool, isn't it? And this, and this shotgun is actually helpful because, as you can see, it has a flashlight. And the other guns don't, which is interesting. You can basically give it patterns, although there are certain weapons that won't let you do this. Oh, yeah. This thing that I got from the DLC. Oh, yeah, this is, a, oh yeah, this is another kind of pistol where you have two shotguns. Kind of odd. Yeah, pretty cool stuff. This is actually this is somewhat like a pseudo quad launcher, I think. Actually, I think it is a quad launcher. I could be wrong. And as you do more of the activities, you get to unlock more of those visual mods. So, um, and I also want to show off, um... So I didn't show this off at my previous videos. I actually did brief mentionings of this. But basically, as you can see, we have the mad certain... The, the murder circus thing. So basically, it's kind of like survival but you don't regenerate health, and the only way to regenerate health is by doing takedowns. Now, I do want to show off that I actually made my very own... I think it's this one, yep. My very own custom Johnny Gat. I actually followed a tutorial. This is the best I could do for him. I figure since he doesn't really show his eyes, this is like the best approach I could do. And then we have my... Oh, gosh, yep. Yep. As you can see, um... Yeah, this is supposed to be a character... I mean, my hair isn't as long right now because I got a haircut a couple days ago. Like, like a few weeks ago, but, um... Yeah, this is, like, how I can do my character. Then we have my other variant, which kind of makes my character look like he's from Watch Dogs. <laughs> Don't know why. But, yeah. And since I got all the DLC... Wait, what the heck? Wait, whoa, 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 what? Is that one of the DLCs I didn't show off? Hang on. I don't remember seeing a giant coin. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Um, um, um. Let me see this, let me see this. Uh... Oh, that's cool. I actually never saw that before. Okay. I'm not going to put that there, but, um, let's see. A drug shipment. <laughs> That's nice. Um, actually. Uh, okay, we'll put the drug shipment there. So, the drug shipment here, you basically gain this after collecting all 125 uh, drug shipments. They're also part of the discoveries thing. Come and join this. Um, let's put the hoverboard there. So currently, as it stands, I are I own every one of these statues. Kind of, kind of impressive, isn't it? All right. Um. Nope. Um. 
the, the train s signal. That's a big rabbit. Okay. Um. What's up? A saint's piano. Okay. Let's keep it going. I'm not basic. I just get I excited actually... about basic things. Okay. Oh yeah, this is actually. I think we can place a. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A menorah for Hanukkah. Has seen on TV knife. Purple all the way. Yep. Oh, and also, um, I guess I should show this in its full prime since I did complete the DLC for Song of Dust and Ice. But, um, I'm going to show this off real quick. So, when you're doing the final, the second, the final mission of the, uh, the uh, of that, the, of that DLC that I showed off earlier. You basically get to have the outfits of each of these characters. Actually, it all looks really cool. It really does. Mm. Okay, then how oh, Nina? Okay, there we go. Yeah, these are the, this is the kind of attire. Although, I did get all the crew with members. I am still missing, like, 17 different vehicles. And if you notice the, um... I should probably show that again real quick, but, um... Oh, I already have a piano. Whoops, okay. But, um, if you notice the, uh, painted backgrounds uh, here for the vehicles, that's actually one of the animated backgrounds that plays whenever you die in the game. Kind of interesting, isn't it? Wow, I'm not even high. Uh, okay. What should we put here? No, no. Look at that stripper pole. It's like not even that big. Okay. Uh. Hi, you're so good at decorating. Um. Let's see. That's right. Okay, I think that's good. I don't think I was really that creative with the um front statue eyes. <laughs> Very saintish. But yeah, it's, it's just a brief video. I mean, it's nothing too special. I really wish that I was able to find a way to um like find a, a way to do all this without messing up my save file because I'm not sure if you could find a way to um, make a new save file on this. I think you can with like Saints for the 3rd and 4 but I'm not too sure anymore. But um, I guess I should explain a bit more about why I actually liked this game a, bun a bit more. So... I saw Vanoss Gaming and Delirious play through this game. Well, not this game, but um, Saints Row 4. Then I watched a video of Moose Knuckle and Dahi Dinoka play through a bit of Saints Row the 3rd. Then it was Super Gaming Brothers with Matthew Mattelli, who actually did a, a, a decent, a, de a really good run at Saints Row 2. I figured, why not start off with one of the latest games? And I actually thought this game was, I pretty much thought this game was amazing, but it's, I mean, it's not the best game, but because I can understand why many people hate it. It's just mainly for the fact that it takes away a bunch of things that make the game, that make the whole franchise so unique. But what was, a, what's more is that it was thanks to this game that I actually could not get myself to play the other title the other titles that came out before. Like Saints Row 2, like the controls for this game compared to Saints Row 2 are a blessing. Like all the hell that I got from Saints Row 2 gets refined in this reboot. 
And I'm saying that a lot because, like, with some controls for like Xbox, the the jump button, the A, a is for jump and X is to reload your gun. But they were both, but those buttons were swapped in Saints Row 2. And you pressed right bumper to automatically zoom in, but you pressed it instead of instead of holding it, and not the left trigger. They fixed and pretty much all the crap that Saints Row 2 went through get gets refined in Saints Row the Third, which is why Saints Row 3 is like a loads better than two. Like, I could not get myself to play the other games because I liked a lot of things of this game. And to be fair, I actually had... I actually have a theory of mine that this... Like, from how the story goes and, like, the formation of the Saints... I feel like that this game itself is more of a prequel rather than a reboot. As if Johnny Gat bastardized the whole the whole end of the world thing and that the whole franchise is now on an endless loop and that it can't be fit and changed or whatever as if the original founders with the bot with the boss of and their friends in this game are not only the original founders but since they called their organization just the saints then that must mean that's like in Saints Row 1, in the original Saints Row 1, all the way to Saints Row 4, they're called the Third Street Saints. So, it could actually hint in that they're the third iterations of the Saints. I mean, it's just a theory of mine, but it is something interesting to, to think about, especially with how the story ends, because I don't think a story is all that good, but it's something to think about, isn't it? Anyways, yeah, this is it for this video. Like, don't expect that much gameplay or hardly any game or any kind of gameplay for um, uh, Saints Row 2 because I am not playing that game. I hate it with a passion. And, uh, and I know I'm beating a dead horse by saying that, but... You will not believe... The amount of frustration that game has put me through. I don't want to describe it because just thinking about the game is just... Like, so um, I'll show something real quick. I'll, I'll go to the actual pause menu. So, uh, gameplay challenge level. Time objective of difficulty. So, I think that the reason why the race thing from the DLC from the previous video was so easy because I had the time objective to difficulty like zero. And since I had it to zero, yeah. Okay, let's keep that the same. Yeah, so I think since I had them off, I was able to get through this a lot better because, oh my god, even on the easiest difficulties when doing like some of the objectives in the previous titles, they're nowhere as bad. They're, they're like... Alright... So to be fair, um, how should I put this? Like, it was thanks to the time of, like, changing the time objective difficulty, like, it really helps out a lot because there was, like, even on the easiest difficulties on, like, Saints Row 2, I felt like the time object, like, how much time you had was, like, very scarce. Because you had to do, like, a lot. You had to be on your toes for that sort of stuff. I actually would recommend this game to be, like, the first title to for newcomers to play. I mean, it's not great. I understand the, the flaws that this goes through. And hey, every game has its flaws. And don't even get me started. Like, at least this game is hell of a lot better than Saints Row 4 and Get Out of Hell, because those titles nearly screwed up, pretty much screwed up the franchise. And normally not many people really like the reboot, since it's not really fond with the whole 
fan base of Saints Row. But to be fair, I personally saw this as a good second attempt. I really did. Definitely better than than what happened before or got out of hell. Because, oh, Christ almighty, I do not even want to get to discuss that, ter that part. But yeah, that's pretty much it. So, maybe I could get my friends to buy this game and have them play through it. Who knows? Classic. Hey, photographer, what are you do? Wait, what the hell? Wait, I was. Ew! <laughs> What's with that guy's smile? Is that Chris Farley or something? What what is that? <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah. Uh it's just a brief extra video showing off a few things, but yeah. It, leave a like if you enjoyed the video, comment down below your thoughts, suggestions, what your favorite part was, and don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so you never miss a video. I'm David X, and I thank you for watching this video of Saints Row. And until next time. Too many gang bangs. The cosmic realm is prohibited for anyone. The, okay, let me redo that. And until next time, the cosmic realm is prohibited by anyone who dares enter. See you guys next time.